In this quick step, we'll take a look at how you can create landscape in Unreal Engine using a height map. So we need to move back to the landscape tool. Where's my mouse pointer? There it is, over here. And by default, you'll probably be on create new again, um, but you can move over to import from file. So we'll do that. And then you'll notice this changes a little bit. Your green grid disappears because it's now got nothing to base the grid on. And we're going to do that with the height map file. But what you need to keep in mind is that it will only work with height maps in one of two very specific formats, which I have written down over here. Um, so you can use either a 16-bit grayscale PNG file or a 16-bit grayscale .raw file, which needs to be in the little endian byte order. I have no idea what that means, um, but I'm sure it's easy enough to do. Anyway, I've got a 16-bit grayscale PNG that I'm going to be using. And if you have downloaded uh, my project file, which you can get to via Patreon, then um, you will also have access to the same height map. If not, find your own, it's no biggie. Um, so we'll go to import from file and click on the little button here to go and find the file. So here you go, this is the um, folder that I share with my patrons and the height map is in there. So we'll give that a click and click on open. It'll take a little minute just to analyze this and create a preview, there we go. And I'll just zoom out because this is quite large. Um, you can see I've got my camera on full speed. Um, but this is quite a big landscape. So you can see that is just a really basic preview of it. What I know, because I've already used this landscape, is that the height on it is a little bit too harsh. So we need to change a setting to get that a little bit more in line. And we're going to do that by going into the settings over here. I'm going to change the Z scale to about 35. And it won't look like much here, but when we click on create in a minute, it's going to look tits, I promise you. So all the other settings are fine because it takes all those settings from the height map. So we'll leave those at default and click on import. This will take a little while longer to create that height map based on the image that we've given it. But when it's done, you will see something very cool. So let's have a look at that in a sec. Okay, so there we go. I think that took somewhere between one and two minutes for me to complete. Uh, and that's because the landscape we've created here is vast. So oh, I'll just wait for the auto save. Hey, there we go. Right. So let's zoom into this a little bit. And you can see that this landscape has been created in seconds, really. If we tried to sculpt all this by hand, it would take a long time. Um, but you can see there's an awful lot of detail in here. So check that out. That looks pretty cool, yeah? So you can look around in all the directions and it looks nice. What I also like to do is get a feel for the landscape by having a little run around in it. Um, that'll tell you if things look too high, not high enough. But what it'll also do, you can see this kind of area here, that kind of represents, I think, one pixel or one group of pixels on the height map. And you can see it's just changed from one color to another on the height map. So one thing that you'll probably really want to do uh, with any um, height map that you use is go straight in and use the smooth tool on it. So I'm just going to up the strength to 0.4 just to make this happen quite quickly. And I'll just up the size of the brush. Don't make the brush size too big because otherwise it'll take ages to smooth. But what I want to do is just chill areas out a little bit like that. And then when I have a look at that again, when I'm finished falling from the sky, ta -da, you can see that that now actually looks a lot smoother and pretty nice. So if you've got quite a, a rough height map like the one I've used here, I would recommend smoothing it straight after, uh, probably using a softer brush, uh, a, a brush with a lower strength than I've just used, um, but you get quite a nice effect. And that is a really cool way of creating vast landscape very quickly. Okay, so that pretty much does it for this step. So what you need to do is delete this landscape before moving on to the next step, because in that step, we're actually gonna create our proper landscape, the one that we'll use for the rest of the exercise. So delete this one, we'll make a new one, we'll sculpt it by hand, it'll look proper cool, uh, and then that will bring us to the end of the sculpting section. So one more step left, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.